Hi everyone, I am not Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games, but he is still a director of GGG and Path of Exile. You see, there was a bunch of drama today in the PoE community, specifically on the PoE subreddit, when it was discovered that Chris Wilson was listed as a ceased director for Grinding Gear Games on some New Zealand governmental documents. Now, of course, immediately, people began to speculate all over the place, saying, oh, well, we saw this coming. He's been taking steps back from the live streams. He's not been talking as much. He's been under so much fire over the past few years about Path of Exile 1 and Path of Exile 2 design decisions. 100% he stepped down or he was fired from the company itself. Now, of course, spoiler, I'm already going to talk about this. It did not happen. It's probably going to be in the title of the video. He did not get fired. He did not step down. It was literally a mistake on the paperwork. He is still a director at GGG, which means he signs off on legal paperwork and he is a still a part of the company itself. However, for a little bit there, I mean, for quite a long time for me, I was in the office today, I wasn't attached to any social media. I read this before I drove off to the office. I thought that Chris Wilson might literally be gone from GGG. And I had some time to reflect on what that might mean. And I beckon all of you PoE players out there to do the same exact thing, because whether or not you agree with Chris Wilson's individual design decisions, you need to know that he, Jonathan Rogers, and Eric Olofsson started this company back in 2006 as literally a whole bunch of dudes sitting in a garage making a game and it is now arguably the best ARPG on the market, and it's probably only second to Path of Eggs to Diablo 4 in terms of actual player numbers, which is spectacular. It's a huge feat. And even though he has a vision that a lot of people don't agree with right now, he did something phenomenal here. And he's always been the public face of the company. And he's taken the brunt of the assault from the community as well and it's something that i respect a lot as a director myself in my own work environment and that's probably something not a lot of people will believe yes i am a director he takes the brunt of criticism and he faces it head on for his team he shields his team and everyone else at ggg from a lot of hate from the community a lot of unnecessary hate and probably much worse He's done that for so many years now. You know, many of you have probably been here for the Lake of Calandra scandal, for the Sentinel scandal. He was the one on Reddit, on the forums, responding to the community, talking about Grinding Gear Game's stance and defending his developers, or in key cases, admitting where he was wrong. He was wrong. He didn't blame people at the company. He didn't say, oh, well, you know, there was this one person who was leading the development cycle for this particular expansion to the game. No, he said, this was an incorrect decision. I made a wrong decision and we are going to remedy it. And that's respectable, especially at a company that is so public facing and it's constantly dealing with the community, building this game really collaboratively over all these years. And... When I thought he was gone, I was legitimately sad. And no, it's not because I use him in a ton of my thumbnails. No, that's not why. I was just floored for a little bit, thinking, wow, this face, this man who helped carve this company out and bring up PoE from a truly independent studio to the top of the market, he's gone. And then I was happy. I was happy for him because that's a tremendous achievement. You know, he's done a lot and he does deserve to not have all of this criticism, all these attacks, everything. And, you know, he's leaving the company. He would be leaving the company in great hands, in the hands of Jonathan Rogers, in the hands of Mark Roberts and everybody else that has proven themselves to be excellent workers, excellent developers. What they've done with PeeWee 1 has been phenomenal and what they appear to be doing with PeeWee 2 is also tremendous. So really, it, it's really a time that we can take a step back, think about what Chris Wilson has done for this community, for this game, and just really treasure that he is still a part of it. 
He's not stepping down. He's still a member of GGG and hopefully he's still going to be on live streams or talking to the community because he really thrives in that regard. You know, I bet Jonathan Rogers is taking some pointers from Chris. You know, I can't wait to start hearing, Hi, my name is Jonathan Rogers from Grinding Gear Games and I'm here to talk about Path of Exile 2. That should start pretty soon. That could become... Mm, it might rival the classic Chris Wilson line that he first uttered in those early, early alpha versions of PoE on YouTube that you can still find on the Path of Exile YouTube channel. He sounds pretty much the same. It's the same cadence over and over. There's only been one time where his inflection truly changed. And that was the first time I ever saw him speak. And you know, a lot of people call me a GGG shill, a Chris Wilson shill. Man, it's because I just respect him so tremendously and I enjoy their game so deeply. Anyways, the first time I saw Chris Wilson speak was at ExileCon 2019, when he walked up on stage and said, Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. And you could hear him choke up a little bit. Obviously, he was nervous. Obviously, he was excited. They were about to now announce the biggest expansion to their game ever. That has now turned into a new game. It was powerful, right? You could feel the emotions flowing from this man. And that's not something I'd ever seen a game developer of a game of that size truly express in that way in front of a crowd of hundreds, if not thousands of fans. It was special. Chris Wilson is special. This community, this game, it's special. And I'm not just saying that because I finally get to meet GGG, which if you don't remember, if you, or if you haven't seen it, posted a video about that yesterday. I'm flying out to LA to meet creators from PoE, to play PoE 2, to talk with Jonathan Rogers. And then a week after, I have a one-on-one -on -one with Jonathan Rogers, who is the game director of PoE 2. A lot of, a lot, a lot of cool stuff coming up in the near future. Thought I could update all of you on that, talk a little bit about Chris Wilson in the video, and just leave it there. So, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hello Moana, Traveling Exiles. Have a wonderful day.